So Klopp drops the bombshell that he's leaving Liverpool. This isn't something that he just decided. This had to be in the back of his head for the last few seasons, and he finally is realizing how stressful the job is, and he needs a break, which we completely understand. The time that this is coming out could have some negative ramifications due to the successful season Liverpool is having. This also could have lingering effects on the Mbappe to Liverpool saga, maybe even Mohamed Salah in his future, who could replace Klopp, who would be the best manager, and more coming up next. Klopp spent at Liverpool. He's been here since 2015. Put these up on the screen. These are all the trophies he won. They probably should have beat Real Madrid in, what was it, 2021 in the Champions League final. They were significantly the better team. They just couldn't score. But nonetheless, he's had some fantastic teams, won some big trophies, had unbelievable players make their way to the club, and he's going to go down as a Liverpool legend. Now, who knows the specific reasoning behind why he's leaving, but being a head coach, being a manager at a high-profile club, in any sport, especially in football in Europe, at a club like Liverpool, you're under the spotlight. 24 7 if things aren't going well you're the center of attention the sacking rumors the threats the blame everything falls on the manager and you could see how exhausting this would be he's been a fantastic manager who knows if he's retiring if he'll ever come back to liverpool if he wants to coach somewhere else i don't think this was the best time for him to come out and state this they're probably the favorites to win the europa league right now they're doing fantastic in the prem up five points to everybody else sitting in first place they're in the fa cup i just hope this doesn't negatively affect liverpool but he had to have had some sort of conversation with with the team behind closed doors what he probably should have done is talk to his team before the start of the season and say look this is what i'm thinking this is where my head's at this could be my last season now of course we don't know exactly what happened but that's probably the best way he could have done it it's so strange because liverpool in my eyes with how they're playing they're gonna make top four unless something insane happens i would argue that next season they would be one of the favorites to win the champions league right up there with madrid City and Bayern Munich, they're a top tier. They're top tier this year. And I, I would see this rolling over into next season. They'll have more experience from some of these other players. They probably could go out and get another player, hopefully another CDM as well. They could be very dangerous next year in the Champions League. And now this could affect that. So who could replace him? Xabi Alonso, in my opinion, makes the most sense. Now, who knows if he's going to sign another contract at Leverkusen. Zero losses all season, regardless of the league they're in. You know, they're not, obviously they're not in the Champions League, but the Europa League, the Bundesliga, it's impressive. You know, he does not like he has world-class players all over the pitch. Every team that needs a manager is going to want to go after Chabi Alonso. But being that he played at Liverpool, they need a manager. This could be a good pick. There's also Luis Enrique. There's Steven Gerrard. Personally, I don't think Steven Gerrard would make the most sense. Just don't think he has the credentials that would make Liverpool the most successful. I wouldn't like to see that. Let me know down below. What manager would you like to see replace Klopp? And do you think this negatively affects the team for the rest of the season? Now, last but not least, Mbappe and Mohamed Salah. This could be interesting. I Apparently, they had a good relationship, Klopp and Mbappe. And and at one point, they were even negotiating on a plane about him transferring to Liverpool. I just completely see this out of the question now, especially with all the rumors, even more of him going to Madrid and Madrid potentially even being willing to sell Vinicius for a huge price just to bring in Mbappe. Plus, he's asking for over 70 million salary, plus over 100 million in other bonuses. I'm sure a lot of Liverpool fans are happy that Mbappe most likely won't be making his way into Liverpool. Now, Mohamed Salah, on the other hand, I wonder if this negatively affects him and his future here because obviously he's been here for quite some time. Had to have had a pretty good relationship with Klopp, and I just wonder if this maybe pushes him out the door to the Saudi Pro League as obviously he's been linked extensively the last season. They're willing to spend almost whatever it takes to bring him there. I'm sure he'd be the highest paid player at the Saudi Pro League or definitely one of them. So I wonder if this could affect Mohamed Salah and his future and maybe this pushes him out the door next season. Hopefully not, but let me know what you guys think down below. Does this affect the Mbappe transfer? Does this affect Mohamed Salah's future? Let me know your thoughts about this down below. I'm going to see you guys back here next time on the G-Red Show.